and girls, it's Miss Phyllis and Miss Carrie back here at the Hive. We've had so much fun exploring the shore with you guys. So today we're gonna to be wrapping up our unit with a fun lighthouse craft. But first, let's recap what we have learned this time around. Stay tuned. Flossie belonged to the flat fish family. Like all of them, she lived at the bottom of the sea. She liked to live there. Both of Flossie's eyes were on her top side. She could lie on the bottom and see everything good to eat swimming by. When the crabs get bigger and start spending more time in the water, people use traps like this one to catch the crabs. This net did not have any in it at this time. Next, Miss Phyllis and I went to the Eastern Shores Wildlife Visitor Center down by the bridge tunnel to learn more about the bay as an estuary and to learn about the other animals that live there that we didn't get to see in person. There's the blue crab. They are not picky eaters as they feed on almost everything. Then we see the fishermen in the boat harvesting the blue crabs for us humans to eat. Then we have the marsh periwinkle. They eat decayed plant material. Alright boys and girls, like we said, we have a fun lighthouse activity for you today. We have our pack of colored pencils right here and all the pieces to our lighthouse. First, we're gonna start by coloring our lighthouses. Remember boys and girls, if you don't have colored pencils at home, you can also use crayons, markers, or even paint, but make sure you ask your parents first. <laughs> lighthouse that we saw in the episode where we were looking at the marsh versus the ocean or the beach as a habitat. What color did you do yours? I did mine with purple, red, and green because purple is my favorite colors and lighthouses don't have to be red. They could be any color that you like. Yeah, they can be any color that you want them to. All right, boys and girls, now let's add our waves to the bottom of our lighthouse. All right. So boys and girls, here are our waves. Mine are a little tangled, but let's. Uh -oh. I put I put mine on backwards. That's okay. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to take your two ends that you have here, and there's two holes at the bottom of the lighthouse, and you're just gonna tie these ends into these holes, like this. You might have to ask a grown up to help you with this if you can't tie a knot by yourself. Doesn't have to be really, really tight, just enough for your waves to be on there. Just like that. Alright, I got my waves on. Got got mine on. Yeah, I got mine on too. Yeah, alright. Off, but they're there. <laughs> they're off, but they're there. And boys and girls, it doesn't have to be perfect. They're, it's your lighthouse. And waves all look very different. So what do we do next, Miss Phyllis? Alright, boys and girls. It's time for us to add our sticker for this week to our board. That sticker, boys and girls. For this week, we're gonna add it right there, and it's a bee with a lighthouse. 
Yeah. Oh, we forgot one part, Miss Phyllis. Let's oh. go back and add. No worries. Boys and girls, we also have some little seagulls like we've talked about in the episodes for the Explore the Shore. So we're gonna glue a couple of seagulls to our lighthouse. Where are you gonna glue yours? I'm just gonna put it up at the top. And we've got several different types of seagulls like the ones that we've talked about. Let me just add it and we can share the glue. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of birds, boys and girls, so I'm gonna put mine, I'm just gonna add one to my lighthouse right there. All right. That's gonna be it for us today, boys and girls. But remember, if your parents fill out the survey in the description of this video, you can get all of these pieces that you need to make one of your own lighthouses at home, just like ours. And you'll also get your bee sticker that Miss Phyllis added to our board. All they have to do is fill out that survey. We'll see you next time, boys and girls, on The Hive.